Hey guys, welcome back to the Bull Combo. Today I'm coming at you with my top five most anticipated metal hardcore albums of 2018. So stick around and see what makes the list. Alright guys, so 2017 was a pretty amazing year for the music scene. There were some amazing albums that came out last year. Uh, some of my favorite albums of all time were released last year, which is pretty impressive. So uh, overall I thought it was a really strong year for music, both creatively and uh, just professionally for a lot of bands. So I'm hoping this year is just as good. Right now, there's not a ton of new albums being announced or being talked about. Uh, so when I was putting this list together, I really had to do some research and find out what bands had already announced albums that were coming out this year and what record labels were announcing uh, new content from their artists. So when I was putting this list together, that was the first place I looked. If you go to the uh, 2017 release calendar, you'll see there was a ton of albums pre-announced last year or announced really early on in 2017. And 2018 is not really the same. Uh, you know, there's only a handful of bands I listen to right now that are have announced uh, new albums that are in fact coming this year. So when I, again, when I was putting this list together, I had to go based off of the bands that have confirmed that there's new albums coming or uh, the record labels that confirmed there's new albums coming from those bands. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. All right, guys, so my number five most anticipated album of this year is actually Bless the Fall's new album, Hard Feelings. This one's gonna be coming out in a couple months. Um, I believe they've already released two singles from the album. Both of them fall right in line with what you'd expect from Bless the Fall. Uh, their instrumentals are really heavy when they have a clean vocalist who likes to carry on most of the verses and the choruses. And they have accents from their uh, bassist who also performs the uh, the screaming vocals on the album. So uh, I'm really really excited to see where this album goes. Their last two albums were really good. Uh, a lot of really catchy sonic songs on it that I was really impressed with. So uh, number five is definitely going to be Bless the Falls, Hard Feelings. We'll keep an eye out for that in the next couple of months and uh, I would expect an album review on this. So number four is actually Bullet For My Valentine's new album. Now this album title is to be announced so there is no title name right now uh, but from what I understand they have announced that they will be releasing a new album this year. The record labels confirm they're going to be releasing a new album this year uh, and I'm really interested to see where they go with it. They did some recent interviews with Matt Tuck, their lead vocalist, who basically said that this album was a major step forward compared to anything they've done previously both sonically and uh, production wise so I'm really curious to see what he means by that. It sounds like they've incorporated some uh, electronic elements into their music and a couple things that they haven't done previously so we'll have to see how that sounds Bullet For My Valentine is one of those bands that uh, when they came out on the scene they kind of exploded I remember The Poison was you know one of my favorite albums of all time still is uh, and they kind of fell off as their albums released so I'm really hoping that this is kind of a revival for them I think it would be really cool to see them get back on top again they're really talented musicians uh, and I think they've kind of fallen out of uh, light in recent years, which is crazy because their first two albums were just so ridiculously good on so many levels. Uh, you know, they were, at the time, they were one of the most talented bands out there. So hopefully uh, this year's Bullet For My Valentine album is a bit of a fresh air, breath of fresh air, a bit of a surprise. Uh, but either way, we'll be taking a listen to it and probably releasing a, a review on it. So number four is Bullet For My Valentine's new album that is to be announced. Number three is uh, The Word Alive's new unannounced album. Uh, they've done some interviews with Telly from The Word Alive and he's confirmed that there is going to be a new album coming out this year. Uh, he hasn't stated what the album name will be called and they haven't released any new songs from it yet, but he did confirm that the sound of it is going to be a combination of everything they've released up to this point. So there's going to be stuff from Real, uh, stuff that sounds like it's from Life Cycles, stuff that sounds like it's from Deceiver, uh, and everything in between. So I'm really interested to see how this album sounds. The Word Alive is another one of those bands that have kind of gone through some changes uh, over the years. In more recent years they lost their drummer uh, Luke Holland who you know left the band uh, and I believe they also lost their bassist so I'm interested to see how that sound changes based off the loss of those two members if there's a major change in sound or if they try to stick true to uh, to their their original sound here and uh, you know I'm just I'm a huge Word Alive fan I think Telly's a great vocalist he's a great person he's uh, they're a really interesting band so uh, I'm really hoping that this year is a good Word Alive album I wasn't too impressed with the last album for some reason. I felt like it was a little bit experimental, a little bit outside what they were used to. And you know, it was a risk. Uh, I just wasn't a huge fan of it. So hopefully this album is, uh, you know, another step back in the right direction. We can get back on board the uh, the Word Alive bandwagon and uh, hopefully I can uh, bring you guys a review of that album as well later this year when it drops. So number three is the Word Alive's new album that is to be announced. 
Number two is the last unknown album on the list. It's going to be Volume's newest album. Uh, Volumes, I don't believe, has actually come out and confirmed that this album is coming out this year. However, their record label did confirm that we were going to be receiving a new album from them this year. So, in terms of what to expect, I have absolutely no idea what to expect for this album. I imagine it's going to be something in the same vein as uh, their last album, which was extremely, extremely good. It was a big step up from their previous album. So. Uh, I really liked the incorporation of the new vocalist's clean style singing. I thought it brought a nice dynamic to the album, or to the band rather. I thought it brought a nice dynamic to the band that hadn't existed previously. The dual vocalist thing was always really good, but I thought that having the clean vocal side of it really created a dynamic between the two vocalists. And I mean, let's be real, the, the choruses on that album are just super, super good. So I'm really hoping Vo Volume's new album kind of falls in line with what their last stuff was. I imagine it's going to fall in line with that. Uh, they do a really good job of making some creative songs that are kind of, they have a little bit of an edge to them. Uh, they also like to touch on some pretty uh, interesting topics, so we'll have to see uh, what this album encapsulates and uh, really what kind of sound they're trying to go for on this one. But my number two most anticipated album of 2018 is definitely Volume's new album. Alright guys, so my number one most anticipated album of this year, hands down, has to be Breaking Benjamin's new album, Ember. Uh, they've released two songs from it so far, Red Cold River and Feed the Wolf, and both songs are just absolutely phenomenal. Um, I, dare I say, it's, it sounds like old Breaking Benjamin, uh, it's just as good, if not better, than some of Breaking Benjamin's old stuff. Uh, I feel like their last album, um, you know, right after they came out of their hiatus, I thought that that was a strong album, but I did think that it was a little bit of a, just a Breaking Benjamin album, I didn't feel like it had anything too unique to it that stood out like some of their previous albums really had and I think that with this album uh, Ben and the band are really getting back to writing those really creative and unique sounding songs that made Breaking Benjamin so popular to begin with so while their last album was just you know another set of Breaking Benjamin songs I feel like this album has a little more creativity behind it a little more emotion a little more power uh, and both the songs that they released so far are extremely good Feed the Wolf has to be one of my favorite songs that they've ever released you know, you know through their 15, 16, 17 year career. That song is fantastic. Uh, if you haven't heard Feed the Wolf, make sure to check it out. I'll post a link in the description for you because the song's just so good. Uh, but Breaking Benjamin is one of those bands that I've loved ever since I was uh, young enough to enjoy this kind of music. So uh, I think that they are uh, really good at what they do. They don't try to reinvent the wheel. Uh, they try to you know come up with things that are catchy and maybe a little bit new to them, but they don't try to, uh, to do anything that's too outside their comfort zone. And I think that some bands are really are, are going to be more successful when they do that, and I think Breaking Benjamin is one of those bands. If it's not broken, don't fix it. So, uh, Ember sounds like it's going to be amazing. Comes out in the early part of April. I'll definitely bring you guys an album review of this album. Uh, like I said, it's hands down my most anticipated album of this year, just because it sounds like it's going to be phenomenal. So, I hope you guys liked this list. I know there's not a lot of albums that have been announced right now, which is really weird because we're a couple months into 2018. Usually there's some more things announced. So uh, as the year goes on, if more albums do come out, I'll be making sure to review those for you. We'll I'm be going to a few shows this year. I'll definitely be going to this year's Warp Tour. I'm really bummed that it's the last year of Warp Tour, but nevertheless, I will be there. I will be vlogging. I'll be taking live videos. So uh, we got some, a lot more stuff music related coming to you guys this year. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure to comment down below if you have any other bands you want to add or if you want to give me your own top five list I'm really interested to see what you guys are anticipating this year as well uh, if you guys like this content make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos I try to post videos at least once a week although recently uh, I've been trying to switch to two videos a week so we'll see how that goes so other than that guys I would like to thank you for checking this out and as always we will see you soon